Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. Last time we basically lost. Yeah, our, our super weapon, the Liqueur Hope, it couldn't beat anything. They put up a defensive shield that wasn't around a ship, it was around a demon, and that displaced the entire beam. Then we all got kicked off the ship, and Claude washed ashore, and Rain and the others washed ashore. On Raina's path, we went through this entire cutscene, they met up, they were told to break it up because they're getting a little too close, and at this point on Claude's path, because we have Leon here, things play out slightly differently, so I figured I'd show off what was different here. As you can see, all of us are now here safe and sound. The entire party is accounted for. But his parents are nowhere to be seen. What do you say to a kid who's experiencing this, to be quite honest? I, w I wouldn't have the proper words either. That's rather sad. I think he just scratched his head. I don't think he was hitting him. There was no sound effect indicated, so. Yeah, don't give up hope yet. We haven't even looked for them yet. We just basically went straight to town. Ah, sorry about that. Distractions. Again, he doesn't want to ask you in particular anything. He just wants to ask people who are new to the area, you know, your, your story. What happened? How did you get here? Do you know where there's any supplies? That kind of thing. But yeah, the party gets together, and you can talk to a bunch of these people, give us a little more perspective on things. Won't be that long. To look for food and search for other survivors. There's only a few people left in the colony. Looks hopeless. I wonder, kid. Killed by the demons. He's in the house over there. So let's go over here and talk to him. So the leader... Why is the leader always also the elder? The leader's almost always... Unless they're kings, they're super old dudes. For no real reason. I don't know. Video game logic is weird. Well, we did. I don't think you want to go there now. The feeling the invasion's going to start moving that way very shortly. Well, there was one ship. It's now gone. We have no way of getting back either, so... <laughs> Sorry. And that is true. And it's only once we arrive here that they really start heavily calling them demons. Most of the other place they called them monsters, but they would sometimes sub in demons. Almost everything over here is demons. I can understand that being kind of the closeness of things. You know, they're not just monsters anymore. They're demons because it's a darker, more powerful word. But at the same time, 
the fact that it's used interchangeably throughout the game is just making things complicated. Needlessly so. So we've heard. What would you like to know there, Claude? Merely the point of impact. But then, after demons began to appear in the area, people began to whisper that perhaps the sorcery globe itself was the mother of all demons. Well, that's not going to end well, is it? Okay. Yeah, well, we already knew that. In fact, we learned that a while ago. Knew that as well. Okay, so it's half destroyed. It's covered in demons. I'm guessing there aren't any people there any longer. I think the line you're looking for is none of this would have happened. Not all this wouldn't have. I don't know. That just seems to be the line we get most of the time. None of this would have happened if you hadn't such and such and such. Yes, but... We're not going to sit around here. We're we're going to do something about this. Of course, Claude's making the decision for everybody else at this point, but... Yes. Going to fight demons. Okay. That's preposterous. There's no way we could possibly succeed against such a thing. Nope. No way at all. They have a cache of weapons, do they? Well, that seems interesting. Excellent. But that's not all. One more thing. Anyone else? Oh. Poor Leon. He is a child. He'd be safer with people who could provide for him than in a party that's about to raid the demons. It's likely if they arrive on this continent, that's where they'll end up going. There's people out searching for survivors. And, as far as we can tell, it's the only real colony of survivors going right now. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, um, so here we have the option of either recruiting Leon or not recruiting Leon. Well, since he is the, uh the replacement or the alternative to Diaz, meaning that on Claude's path and Claude's path only, Leon will survive, make it this far, and you'll be given the option to recruit him. On Reyna's path, you get Diaz instead. Reyna gets the far better choice, in my opinion. In fact, um, Leon is basically useless throughout pretty much the entire game. There are very few situations where you'll want to use him. Other than to, like, hear some of his lines of dialogue, raise him up to get uh, the things I was mentioning before, uh, fill out his radar and his playfulness to get yourself some minerals and some money, uh, get some additional uh, sound bites for the completion of the uh, sound file or whatever they call it in this game, the sound test, so that you can get additional um, 
uh, what are they? The you know the the other difficulty modes. I think there's maybe a music test or something like that later on. It's not as interesting as doing the battle trophies. It's also not as hard as doing the battle trophies. In fact, some of them you can't even complete because they require like say Leon crying out Dias's name when Dias dies in battle. But that can never happen, save for a game shark, because you can't possibly have those two together in your party at the same time. But they're still in the uh, sound test there. Anyway, let's recruit them, because why not? If you do recruit him, or if you recruited Celine earlier in the game, that will leave you with one open slot for a final party member, and there are two more party members possible to recruit. Uh, since uh, on Raina's Path, uh, I recruited Ashton instead of Opera and Ernest, I will have two spots left over at this point in the game, even with Dias as Leon's replacement, so I'll be recruiting both those characters on her path, and only one of them on Cloud's Path, the one that's actually really good. And with that, we get Leon, and they're asked to look after Leon's parents if they should happen to find them. This is the point where I must inform you, like uh, with some of the other things earlier, um, translating the ancient writings, this, a few other situations throughout the game, they never direct us to come back to any of these locations to figure out uh, what ended up happening with the storyline. And so I'm not exactly sure what they uh, kind of intended for us. Ah, we can get a free rest though. That's always good. Okay. And what about you? Pick up the weapons, take care. Okay, yeah, get out of the way. With that said, we can head in here now. Now they say they have a nice cache of weapons. I can't remember how many exactly there are. And unless you're just mashing the button around, you're not gonna find them because they're all hidden. Kind of a dick move to the only real way to make sure you have them all is to just count. Three. Four. Five. Oops. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12. Let's see. I guess he does tell you that. So we got 12. I think that's all that we need. There's nothing of value in the shop, really. Yeah, pretty much don't need any of that stuff. But uh, you're so cheap. Yeah, it's because I didn't want to buy your crap. If you go to leave. That's right, though. Right, though. More work. Reminded of Warcraft every time I hear someone talk like that. I don't know why he has to add it on the end of every word. And, like, up O oh, or it O oh, kind of makes some sense, sure. Aluria O? Oh? No, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, once you go to leave. Those two have no idea what's going on, but Claude takes one look at it and says it's an ID card from an advanced civilization again! Underdeveloped planet, buddy! Come on! Not that hard! He's not very good at keeping this a secret, is he? So with the uh, ID card as a key item, that's 13 items out of here. I'm going to go double check my notes as soon as they stop talking. And uh, hopefully that's all of the items that are in here. Otherwise, I'll have to come back and take a quick look again. Okay. 
Can I can I leave now? All right, one second. Okay, that's all the items we were supposed to get there. So let's uh, take a quick look at all of the items that we finally picked up there. We got the Vile Piercer. We finally got a decent weapon for Claude. He's been using the Long Edge for the longest time now. So let's finally give him that. Um, you, I don't think we got much of anything. Oh yeah, we have access to Silver Robes now. Which is actually even better than the Evening Dress, which is why I said it didn't really matter if you were successful at pickpocketing it or not. Might as well put that on. Gives you uh, elemental de defense against lightning, so that's good. And we got... I know I got one around here somewhere. Is it boots that I got? Could have swore I got a rune cap. Oh, he automatically equipped it. Right, 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 right. Cuts mana consumption by two-thirds. Yeah, you don't need any of those things. We'll equip you with stuff later. Uh, so the silver robe, that's better. And then the rune cap, which means I no longer need the fairy ring. It's not as much. It, you know, reduces MC come to two-thirds, so it only reduces it by a third. And the fairy ring does give us a little bit of extra, but we might as well equip ourselves with something else that will help us out. We're already immune to paralysis, so we don't need that. Let's give you something else useful, like a promised ring or something like that. Some more stats. There aren't really a lot of really good accessories for mages in this game, unfortunately. Most of them are geared toward uh, higher level fighters. Okay, so that's that, and I think we got some good stuff for you at long last. Yes, finally, the Giant's Fists. And we got Metal Fangs for you if you didn't pickpocket them before. Uh, I don't think we got anything for you. Uh, we got a Ruby. No, we didn't. I had that before. Uh, I think you got a, a Light Box for you or something, maybe. I don't know. And I think we got some Armor. Not the Battle Suit. Isn't it a Slayer or something or other? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Oh, let's, uh, I guess we can look for it here. Fairy ring. Oop. Let's see. The shield sword, which is for Ashton, if you need that for him. Got a fine shield if you need that. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, all there is for that. So, with that being said, we can finally head out. There's no real reason to stick around here. Eight hours, 27 minutes before arrival at destination. Where are you going? This is, of course, Ronixus, Claude's father. Or Ronix, I think his name is in this one, but either way. High level, it's a high energy body with a period of, wait, what? What does that even mean? <laughs> Your memory is incredible. Is that it? Are we gonna do something or are we just gonna hang around here? Seems to be a Mayday transmission emanating from the fourth planet of the system. Now, you may remember that Claude activated that and then tried to use the emergency transmission to get a hold of anybody and everybody and he was unable to that was during a prior or not a private action but if you spent the night in Hilton uh, there was a little cutscene about that I'm not sure I 
think this scene plays out even on Reyna's path at this point in the game. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it does. Because this isn't really from the perspective of Claude or Reyna, so it wouldn't make sense for us to see this either way. Federation service number... Is anyone actually going to remember that many frickin' digits? That is ridiculous. On top of that, three people recognize it as Claude's number. Nobody on planet Earth would remember that. Save for, like, Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. You would need eidetic memory to remember that. Go to warp! Yes, sir. All right. And with that, we are out of one area, and we only have one destination to go. We have a whole continent to explore, but there's literally nothing here. There's only Haluria, and that's it. I'm assuming everything else was destroyed. But that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time, we'll head into Aluria and see what there is to see. What are the demons up to? Can we defeat them? What exactly is the Sorcery Globe? All will be revealed as we move into the final dungeon on Disc 1. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.